Hello, hello beautiful people and welcome here on my YouTube channel. In today's video we're gonna unbox the Ted Baker Beauty Advent Calendar. I received this Advent Calendar as a Christmas gift. I know that this may be an outdated video, but this year we didn't unbox said any Advent Calendar here on my YouTube channel. And I thought that if I have it, why not to unbox it with you? So this is the Ted Baker 2022 Beauty Advent Calendar. It has 24 days of beauty discoveries, including makeup and body care products. The packaging looks quite nice. It feels heavy and inside it looks this way. It's nice to be fair. Okay guys, let's start with day number one. The box is here on the top. It's small and lightweight. Let's see what is hidden inside. And inside we have a nail file with the same pattern like the box. Mm, not the most exciting product to start an advent calendar. Box number two is bigger and feels heavier. Definitely we will find a body care product. And we find a body spray, violet and bergamot body spray. This range from the Ted Baker is not my favorite. It smells nice, but I like more the peony body spray. Box number three is next to the box number two. Guys, I hope I will not break my nails <laughs> because the boxes are hard to take out. And for the day number three, we have a face mask, raspberry and orange blossom moisturizing sheet mask. Let's move to the day number four. The box is lightweight. And inside we find, of course, another mask. This time is an eye mask, violet and bergamot moisturizing eye mask. I hope day number five will be more cheerful. But judging how light is the box, I don't have any expectations. <laughs> and here we find a white cotton headband. Let's see what we will find in the box number 6. And here we get a tweezer with the same pattern. Well, a new tweezer is good for me. I always lose them, so a new one is welcomed. The treat for the day number 7 is an eyelash curler and this is a useful product. Let's move to the day number 8. This time the box feels a bit heavier and inside we find a fragrance, rose and cassis. The scent is nice, is not too strong, a nice and simple scent. For day number 9, we have a bigger box and inside we find an exfoliating bath mitt. Next comes the box number 10. First I need to find it. <laughs> and here it is. The box is small and was harder to see it. Inside we find, ooh, a makeup product. It's a lip gloss in a curious shade. It's in a nude brown shade. Unfortunately, we don't have any shade names for it. At least we find an interesting product. The treat for the day number 11 is a nail polish in a beautiful festive red shade. Box number 12 now is here in the corner. The box feels heavier this time, I think we will find a body care product. And I was right, here we get a body cream. 
from the same violet and bergamot range, which as I said is not my favorite. <laughs> Next comes the box number 13 and this box is heavy. Here we find a body lotion, this time from raspberry and orange blossom range. The treat for the day number 14. Ooh, something new is in buff oil from the same raspberry and orange blossom range. The box number 15 is quite heavy and inside we find a candle. I don't know how you are, but I'm very happy when I get home candles. I adore them. Next we have a box number 16. The box is lightweight, I am in a doubt that we will find something interesting inside. And of course I was right, inside we find a double-ended makeup brush, which guys, it is in a very poor quality. I don't like it at all. The treat for the day number 17 is a fat makeup remover pad. From makeup we found only one lip gloss, but we get the makeup remover pad. Very happy. <laughs> Box number 18 is heavy and inside we find raspberry and orange blossom shower gel. Let's move forward to the day number 19 and here we find a soap bar, violet and bergamot soap. For the day number 20 we have of course violet and bergamot and this time we get the hand cream. I don't understand why they put only this range, they have different scents, why they choose this one? Let's move to the box number 21 and in this box we find a cuticle oil. Box number 22 is here and inside we find ooh, a lipstick. Let's see the shade. The shade looks similar with the lip gloss shade. Again, we don't have any names or any information about this lipstick. If it's matte or a satin lipstick, we will find out when we will use it. <laughs> the treat for the day number 23, oh wow, is an eyeshadow palette. This is how it looks inside. The color story is nice. I am not sure about this shade, it's a bit too orange for my taste. The rest of the shades are beautiful. And now we have left the last number, number 24. Usual in the last number we should find the best product. Well, in the first number and in the last number we should find the most interesting products. Judging by the size of a box, I think is a body care product. And I was right. We have a full-size body wash from the same violet and bergamot range. Okay, beautiful people, here are all the products that we find in the Ted Baker Beauty Advent Calendar and to be honest, I didn't enjoy unboxing it. The content is boring. I don't understand why they choose to put so many products from the same range and to be honest, the scent is not the best one. Mm, I am a bit disappointed about this advent calendar. What do you think guys? Did you like it? Let me know your opinion about it in the description box below this video. And this was everything for today. A huge thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye!